So it has been ages since I've posted to this channel. Um, I flipped across to it today and um, I was reading through some of the comments and I noticed that there were a lot of really nice positive comments about the possum box video which I did pff, ages ago. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's happened since that possum box um, was made. Just to catch everyone up if you haven't already seen the possum box video, I had two possums. It was a mom and a bub living just underneath my floor and in my wall cavity. So I built a possum box for them to be able to live outside so they didn't have to necessarily be in the house. Now those possums never ended up moving into the box. They continued to live in that corner. I checked in on that box a couple of times and I never saw anything in there. So I don't know if they ever moved in or not, but that particular mom and bub, they stayed in that corner. And then sadly about four months ago, I noticed the, the possum in the corner wasn't looking quite right. The, the skin on her tail looked a bit strange and upon further investigation, I noticed that her tail was all mangled, all the hair was falling off, and there were some bits of her body that it was the same thing. So I called out a one of these uh, uh, not-for-profit organizations, one of these rescue type organizations. They came out, had a look, they said to me, look, she's in a really bad way. This is a type of dermatitis that possums get, particularly up here in the tropics where it's very humid. She looks in a bad way but we'll take her away, hopefully she can recover. Later that day, I got a text to say that unfortunately the, the dermatitis was too severe and because of the amount of pain that she was in, they had to put her down. But on a positive note, it was only a couple months ago that I saw another mom and bub living in that same spot. So obviously there's something about that corner that possums really like and it was really nice to see another family living in that same spot. So what I thought is today we could go and have a look in the box. I haven't checked it in about six months. So who knows if possums are in there or anything else. I mean, it could be birds or snakes, who knows? So I'm gonna grab a step letter and we'll go out and have a look. So looking on the, the channel this morning, it's been a really long time since I released a video and so much has happened in that time. So. What I might try and do is put a couple more videos out. I don't want to make any promises that I can't keep, but I will try and put a couple together just to give you guys an update of where we are. Looking at the box, it's still holding up really well. So it doesn't look like there's been any damage done to it. Um, and it's obviously holding up against the elements. I'm just going around to get a different letter. I've just remembered now why I stopped checking in on that box. It's because it's just too hard for me to get in and look with my short letter and getting the bigger lead out, it's a bit of a pain. So, as you can see, still nothing in there. I'm gonna take a quick picture because that'll be better quality. So as you can see, there's nothing living in there. And I've got this funny feeling that nothing has lived in there. I don't know if the animals are transient, so they're in and out, and that's why I never seem to catch them. But I still haven't been able to stick a camera in there and see something living in there. I've got a theory on this though. There's the tree over there with the, the box and that is the corner of the house where the possums live. My thought is that that box is just too low to the ground, so they're too nervous to live in there. Added to that, we've got this perfect spot over there, which they like underneath the house. So between that, that spot and that spot is such a short distance, why are they gonna go use that box? So I know the possums are here because I see them all the time. I see them down the end of the yard as well. But I just wonder if the height of that possum box being so low to the ground is just turning them off. 
Well, that was a bit disappointing. Obviously not the result that I, I really wanted. I was hoping to be able to show you guys some possums in there. On one hand, obviously, I, I really want them to live in that box, but if the box is not right, then that's just the way it is. I've obviously got to change the design or where it is or something like that. Or on the other hand, maybe I just don't have any in this area or have enough in this area to warrant that box. I went with the design plans that I've seen on a number of sites, a number of official sites. So I'm pretty sure the design is right. I just have a feeling that it's that, that distance to the ground. It's just a little bit too close, but I'll keep checking. And if possums ever do end up in that box, I'll take some pictures and do another video. Um, but that's where the possums are. Um, I was just so warmed by the comments on that video. Um, the number of people who were saying things like, it's great to see someone looking after the possums instead of just trying to get rid of them. So good to see that. The, the number of people I talked to about this who can't understand the concept of trying to help the possums. You just wanna get rid of them because they're pests. That mentality is just so pervasive. So to see people commenting from the possum's perspective, from that living creature's perspective, it was just so cool. And, and it was such a nice thing to see this morning. So there's the update. I hope you guys are happy with that. If anything changes, I'll let you know and I'll, I'll put another video together. All right, all the best, take care. I'll see you guys in the next one.